Hello and welcome to the very very first part for the career mode part 1. Uh, this time we should be running through some of the basics of it. Um, so we need to pick a decent team. I don't know what team to pick. Originally I was going to go to then I went to Torosso, and then I was tempted to go for Williams. But I think I might be moving forward a bit too much. So I think we are going to stick with Torosso. Uh, even though a few people are being it, but this I think this team is probably quite a good overall standard to be. It should be pretty good, hopefully. So a nice little 3D render of the logo, which looks pretty sweet. Looks pretty nice with some carbon fibre. I guess that's probably the right material to use. <laughs> so then the whole car is built around that. So this is just the main hub thing. Season objective is to finish 14th. Um, remaining races, 20. Just going through. We are the second driver. Uh, it's just, you can look through here. I think it's like... Upgrades in China. Uh, something will happen in Monaco, Canada. We've got some more upgrades coming. So just telling us that as well. I'm guessing when you got teams, I, think, I guess there'll be more upgrades throughout the whole season. Which is pretty cool. So let me look at the emails. Just welcome us into the team. Nothing too craziness. Just a few updates as well. I want me to finish qualify at 14th and race 11th. I think that's a little bit too high, but. Um, Going to settings, race settings, full qualifying. Um, don't know what I want. So the lowest you can do now is 25% in the race distance. Um, go for full qualifying, I guess. Difficulty. I have the assist on because I do use the controller. But we turn off dramatic. Dynamic racing line, sorry. Uh, realistic legend AI flashbacks four in case I need that. So what we're gonna do for the race out, we're gonna do like a, a quick run of the qualifying, just sort of showing you that, showing you like my fastest lap, and we sort of talking through it, and then we'll do like a highlight reel of the actual race because the race will be very very long. It take about thirty minutes to finish it. I'm not sure a lot of you guys will want to see that long video of just F1. Um, so yeah. That's the plan anyway. Right. So if we get into the main hub, I'm going to go to the session. This game feels really cool so far. I've been playing some of the champions modes. Uh, just trying to get used to the game a little bit more. Um, and I've played a few online matches as well now. It's definitely starting to feel pretty cool. I feel like I'm ready for the career. So I've just got a few clippings. Can anyone beat a match of Vettel? Who's obviously won the last two championships. Tyler Lossa, a rookie, joins Toro Rosso. Which I guess is quite sounds right, doesn't it? They seem to like their rookies. Let's do this. Well, I'm gonna have a quick little practice lap, uh, just showing you guys. Um, try and sort out the setup a little bit. So that's my snazzy helmet I'm using at the moment. Hey, welcome to the garage. Hello. Let me show you provides you with important information about the race weekend. There's a lot of useful information here. Feel free to check it out later. When you're ready to go out onto the track, skip sessions, or just want to know what your session objectives are, then you just need to ask. Right, sounds easy enough. So it looks like we're going for a cautious uh, research and development stage. Makes sense, it is. Um, so I'm going to go for a setup I've seen on Alex's channel. I'll leave a link in the description. Just going to run the video. So I'm going to go for high brakes, I reckon. That's what I normally go for. Um, I'm not sure. This doesn't really do this, but it should help a bit. Should even out the car, hopefully. Um, I'm going to leave the right high about two-ish. We'd leave the sniffness up quite high. There. Yeah, yeah. there we go, that's probably about right. Um, engine, we stay the standard for the standard practice. Bring that away. This is probably best for qualifying, you want to probably want to turn that back down. So you probably want to have that about there. And probably about there as well. But I'll probably change that when we actually go to the race, because that will wear the tyres out quite a bit. But for now we're just going to practice with that. Um, Right, so I'm going to go to the track, go to track, um, so you can skip the session, restart session, 
quick car setup as well, if you're not that used to that stuff. So let's go straight for a flying lap. Yeah, this game's still, like I said, it's been really, really, really nice. It's definitely a big improvement, I think, on the last game. I like the little lights as well now. They look snazzy. Oh god, the car did not like steering there. Like I said, the setup might need changing about, but we're just going to try and go for it now. Apparently the Legend AI is a lot harder this time around. I mean, F1 2010 you could like, win with a Caterham or whatever. Or Lotus, you know, called them. So I've got the DRS Smackdown using the curves to the, the Lion. Annoying HDRs coming up there. A little bit wide there, not too bad though. The DRS there nice and early. Try not to skid out. Sorosa looks very, very sexy. <laughs> The old flashback system. I will use these occasionally when I want to, just because I mean, this is just a trial lap. This is my first lap in career, um, so I just want to want to sort of sit myself in the gravel. That's boring and crappy. Brakes did not like braking there for some reason. Normally, you'd like to do this like flat out if you can. Yeah, pretty much does it flat out. Try and smack the DRS down as soon as possible. Skidding a bit there. Apparently I'm eight times down on Madonado. That's to be expected on my first lap of the game. First lap of career mode even. This this corner can be quite tricky. Slow down quite a bit there, so it wasn't too bad. I'm already one and a half seconds down, which is not great. Uh, Definitely some practice trying to speed up. Almost at the end of the lap. A bit cautious right around there. Thought I was going to get a penalty there. It wasn't too bad. Let's slow down quite a bit. So, yeah, that will be the end of this, but that was pretty cool. Hope you're enjoying this. We're going to straight to qualifying and a race for the next part. Yeah, it's been pretty awesome.